This is scary. Hashtag 25th Amendment. President uh, is not equipped to do the job. So now they're saying he's mentally incapacitated. And more than two dozen Democratic lawmakers are backing a bill that says he should leave office. Should he be removed from office? His brain is simply incapable of processing the information. Emotionally, psychologically unstable. Initiate proceedings to remove the president. Uh, You and several of your Democratic House colleagues met with a psychiatry professor from Yale, Dr. Bandy Lee. She told CNN Today, quote, as the president is unraveling, he seems to be losing his grip on reality and reverting to conspiracy theories. Dr. Lee and other psychiatrists who've been up to meet with members of Congress have been predicting uh, increasingly delusional and paranoid behavior on the part of the president. The president is dangerous and unable to successfully meet the powers and duties of office. We got serious stuff to deal with, and instead we're caught up every day in what looks like the country debating the mental health of the president. So it's a very dangerous and unstable situation. The the issue is what is our institutional responsibility as the U.S. Congress? And we've got that under the 25th Amendment. Everybody should go and read it. No, he, Trump needs to be medicated and hospitalized <laughs> at this point, or he is going to just kill all of us. People are talking about the 25th Amendment, and they're saying he's just not mentally fit to be the president. And I think if you're doing this, I mean, is there a mental fitness problem? We all know the ramifications of nuclear war. Can Americans be concerned about the president's mental fitness? This president is is not fit. This is 25th Amendment kind of stuff that should have already activated the vice president and a majority of the cabinet to remove the president as unfit to serve under the 25th Amendment. And invoking things like the 25th Amendment. You know, they brought in this Yale psychiatrist. Watch the president closely. Is there a case to be made for the 25th Amendment, specifically under the 25th Amendment? President's not fit for command. I thought, oh man, he's really having some problems here. That's where the 25th Amendment thing started to come up. Fitness for office. Could the 25th Amendment be Trump's down? Downfall. Here's how it works. They believe the president is, should be temporarily removed from power. The vice president should become the acting president. Would Donald Trump pass the Air Force test for personnel working with nuclear weapons? Absolutely not without further evaluation. 25th Amendment at the moment is the, the only thing we have. Just focusing on cognitive, and we'll get into neurological and mental health in just a second, but when we hear Dr. Jackson saying that the president scored a 30 out of 30 on this cognitive test. What I would have liked to have seen, if there's any suspicion, as I'm sure there is, about his mental status, is to go a little bit further, which could have easily been done. Uh, That could have been done by doing an MRI. There's no medical diagnosis of jerk, and that jerk is a uh, condition that disqualifies you from holding office. 25th Amendment hasn't been developed in a way that allows it to be called into Uh, invoked if there is serious concern. The man is crazy. And if he's crazy and incompetent and stupid, then we have to look at the 25th Amendment. Trump is not fit to be president, which is what myself and many people argue. They all think he's dumb. They all think he's stupid. They all say he's an idiot. That he's lost track of reality one way or the other. He's like a fifth or sixth grader in in, in intelligence. That's an insult to a lot of fifth and sixth graders. Mm -hmm. I think he should talk to First of all, I think saying he's ignorant is kindness at this point. During the 25th Amendment without actually doing the 25th Amendment. Why can't they just be honest with America and come clean instead of protecting this president and, and possibly harming the American people? They, they have made a they've made a decision to execute the 25th Amendment option of removing Donald Trump from the presidency. They just haven't told him or us. He's a dangerous man with with a degree of, of mental and personal instability that puts the country at risk. The president of the United States is unfit to be president. Here comes the, the cold, bony fingers of insanity and authoritarianism to grab your ankle when your foot drifts off the bed. Theoretically, the 25th Amendment might be useful for removing President Trump from the office of the presidency. The 25th Amendment is there so that you can use it. This was the first place where the 25th Amendment was discussed after Donald Trump was inaugurated, exactly one month into the Trump presidency. To try and invoke something uh, like the 25th Amendment, to do something about it. And I think that as citizens, we have to think about what our options are. Is it impeachment? Is it the 25th Amendment? Confronting a president who is so clearly lawless, so clearly out of control, so utterly uninformed. If there are whispers about the 25th Amendment, Whispers among cabinet officials early on about the 25th Amendment. Whispers among cabinet members about the 25th Amendment. Whispers among 
cabinet officials about invoking the 25th Amendment. Whispering about the 25th Amendment. Whispers in the cabinet about invoking the 25th Amendment. Instability, amorality, inability to function. And I think Donald Trump is wounded. They should invoke the 25th Amendment. Start discussing the 25th Amendment. Investigate whether or not he's unfit. The president may be unhinged and mercurial and constantly lying and doesn't know what he's doing. We don't have a, a, a president and, and we have a president who's there. But he is not uh, capable of doing the job or living up to the responsibilities. It's really scary. Google searches on the 25th Amendment, top searches for Kim Kardashian. We have a president who is not capable of doing the job. Leaders all across the world are making judgments about our president and our country and all kinds of risks as a result of what they're reading about this presidency and the United States. This is dangerous. We are in a worse position than we were in Nixon's final days, because with Nixon, you could certainly doubt his moral capacity to do the job, but nobody could doubt Nixon's intellectual capacity. On the other hand, with Trump, not only is he amoral, but he's also too stupid. He doesn't understand the basics of the job, so he can't carry out his duties. We should be talking about invoking the 25th Amendment. But unfortunately, Republicans are putting party loyalty above patriotism. They are acting as protectors for Donald Trump because he still has the support of their base. And so they are allowing this travesty to continue. In fact, he may be in, unable to serve. Um, the 25th Amendment is there. There are adults in the room. Don't worry, everybody. There are adults in the room so let me trying to protect the U.S. From, from the president. We need John Kelly. We need people to speak Kelly Kellyanne Conway. Absolutely. Steve Bannon. Jared right. Kushner. Let's hook them up to a polygraph. You know what? It's a serious <laughs> offer. If you're willing, any one of you, hook up to a polygraph. We'll put it on TV. You can have my hour. We'll do one a day. Is Donald <laughs> Trump fit for the presidency? Is he capable of carrying out the responsibilities of America's commander in chief? You're all welcome. Yeah. Well, look, I think we already know, everybody knows, the whole country knows that this president is unfit. Invoke the 25th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Stein was going to organize the cabinet to use the 25th Amendment to oust you from office? A great many people have wondered whether this president was fit uh, for the office and whether they had to contemplate the extraordinary step of invoking this article. This president is psychologically unfit to be president. For when we invoke the 25th Amendment and remove him from office. Rid of him as unfit under the Constitution. This is one of the many, many, many ways this president has shown us that he is not fit. Possibly not even well. And I don't understand the people in this administration taking matters into their own hands and trying to sort of stick it out because they can keep things together. On the foreign policy front, he is cratering our reputation. He is making us an international joke. We are losing our influence to anybody who works inside the White House, works on the national security team, works in the State Department. At some point, you are working for a president who is not fit to lead, who's going to do something crazy in five minutes, one hour, tonight or tomorrow. Like, what more do you need to hear from him to start thinking 25th Amendment or something else? This is not okay. Some sort of getting rid of Trump plan, whether it's the 25th <laughs> Amendment or impeachment, whatever. Do we try him as an adult? Would have voted to remove him under the 25th Amendment. He is unfit for the office he holds. What is the tripwire here? What do we have to see? What has to be waved in front of the American people? Give permission to the legislative branch to remove him. The, the 25th Amendment was um, a reasonable path. Notify the Congress, both the House and the Senate, that the president is unable to continue in office. The country is being run by someone who is under the influence and is and is in a, quote, altered state. We're in the midst of a presidential cover-up of Donald Trump's mental and physical condition. Want some disclosure of what the real facts are here. The 25th Amendment needs to be considered.